So um, as I think back over the last year, there have been um, a lot of sadnesses and frustrations and struggles um, for people around me and, and some for me, me of my own. Um, work things, surgery, lots of, um, lots of family things going on. Um, so kind of as I thought about what I wanted to talk about um, with you guys today, um, I wanted to just say, be kind, please be kind to one another. Everybody is going through so much right now. Um, we just need to give people that kindness and gentleness. So I started poking through my Bible, looking for verses that I've highlighted in the past that you know, said kind or gentle, and, and there's plenty of those. There's there's not definitely not a shortage of those. We should be kind and gentle to one another. Um, but what kept standing out to me was um, Titus chapter 3. Um, so I'm going to read that to you guys here in just a minute. Um, yeah, but what it's going to tell us is that, yes, we should be kind, um, and certainly we should be devoted to doing good. That is really what it's calling us to do, to be devoted in doing good, not just one time doing something good or that one hour I do something good, but to be devoted in that. Um, but we're doing good because God was kind, not because we're kind, not because we're great people, um, but because God was kind first. So, and then the other thing about this passage is just that um, it's addressed to Titus, who is effectively a pastor to these people. Um, so it's, there's one verse in particular that kind of stands out as that, but um, it's still definitely something that we learn um, is just people of God um, to know what, what we're supposed to do and behave as. So um, Titus chapter 3 verses 1 to 9 say, Remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good, to slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and to always be gentle toward everyone. At one time we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, He saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing and rebirth and renewal by the Holy, the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generally through Jesus Christ, our savior. So that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, um, having the hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying. And I want you to stress these things so that those who have trusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone, but avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law because these are unprofitable and useless. Um, so really, I already kind of gave away um, the highlight there for me. Um, there's so much there and I'm not qualified to unpack it all necessarily, but, um, but my prayer for us today really is, um, that we'd remember to be devoted to doing good. And we'd be, we'd remember that, that, that it's because of God's kindness and his love because of what he did, um, not through his laws and his, his rebuke, um, although sometimes it has been necessary, um, but through his kindness and his love, he chose to save us, not because of what we did, but because of him, um, and because of his mercy. Um, and so that just, we can be driven and devoted um, to doing good to those around us um, as a result. And if you guys aren't familiar with those things or you want to talk about this, this chapter more, um, reach out and give me a call sometime. Talk to you later. Bye.